Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here, this question is asking: In a ferromagnetic material, mu is equal to 4.5 mu naught, B is equal to 4 by A Z milli Weber per meter cube. Calculate X M H M and J B. Now, let's look at the X M. X M is magnetic susceptibility that can be calculated using this formula. X M is equal to mu r minus one. Now, what is mu r? If you look at this mu equation. When we mu is equal to mu naught times mu r, okay, and here you can see mu naught is here, so this must be mu r, right? 4.5 is the mu r, so we know that mu r is equal to 4.5, so we can find out the xm value. 4.5 minus 1, that's going to give us 3.5, and this is the a part. Xm is equal to 3.5. Now the b part. Is asking us to find out the H. H is magnetic field intensity. Now to find the H, we can use this formula. B is equal to mu times H. So since we are interested in H, H is equal to B divided by mu. Mu is nothing but mu r mu naught, and that's already given. Four point mu r is already know we already know mu, mu r. That's four point five. So this is going to be, and also we know the magnetic field. That's four by times ten to the power minus three because it's milli. So 4 by a z times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by mu that's going to be 4.5 and mu naught is 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 and if you calculate this one this is going to give us 707.355 y a z amperes per meter okay now we have done the b part and the c part is asking us to find out the m m is magnetization that can be calculated using this this formula xm times h xm we calculated right here that's 3.5 h we calculated in the second part that is 707.355 and uh, multiply by y and the direction is az since this is az direction and then if we calculate this one, that's going to give us 2475.7 YAZ amperes per meter. Okay. So we have done the C part. Now let's look at the D part. D part is asking us to find out JB. JB is magnetization volume current density. That can be calculated using this formula. JB that can be calculated using del cross M. Okay, now here the easiest method to do the del cross is find the determinant, like use the determinant method. So here we put ax, ay, az, and then del is basically partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, partial derivative with respect to z, and magnetization only has z component. So the, the x and y are going to be 0, 0, 0, and this is going to be m z okay and when we do the determinant we are going to get something like this parcel derivative with respect to y m z y a x minus parcel derivative with respect to x m z y a y okay so we already have the value of m we just try to plug it right here with respect to y 2475.7 times y and uh, this is ax minus parcel derivative with respect to x 2475.7 y a y okay after we do that we will end up with since uh, we are taking the derivative with respect to y and x for x this is going to be zero because y is a constant when we do the derivative with respect to x so this term is going to be zero so this is the only term we are going it's going to remain and when we do the derivative this y will go away that's the only difference okay after that we will derive the final answer final answer as jb is equal to 
seven five point seven ax amperes per meter square and that's going to be the final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching